What's going on, ladies, gentlemen, fellow Mongs? It's me, Sebi Mong, and in today's video, we're going to be taming the Dino Seros. Now, this is going to be a sort of pretext video because you're going to need this guy for. God. Sorry about that. A Trino Seros. Both of these videos are coming out over the next few days alongside a couple of others. So, if you're new to the channel, be sure to check back if you want to learn how to get the Trino Seros. Obviously, you're going to need, actually, I didn't even show you, you're going to need a ton of Dino C Rosses for the Trino C Ross. So, like, the Dino C Ross is the elite dinosaur. Trino C Ross is the heroic dinosaur. And as you can see, you need five Dino C Rosses to get one mark for Trino C Ross. I'm going for two. I've already got my five. And then I've got another seven more marks to hopefully get ten of the Dino C Rosses to make two Trino marks. But... The Dino Seros mark itself can be a bit of a difficulty one. Now, let's start off with the recipe, okay? Now, the recipe, in fact, I'll take you to where you can get the recipe. I need to be a bit more practical in my videos at the moment. So, yeah, I'll catch you in just a second. Okay, guys, so what you want to do is come to Harrow Crow Temple. Let me whip up my big map down here. And it's going to be in the solo, or not the solo instance, the area of which you cannot mount. So you're going to have to apply speed buffs or whatever to get through all of these mobs. You do get sent here questing. And the guy you need to kill is literally right up these stairs. And it's just the named elite mob in the top up here. So I'm going to kill him, see if I can get the drop again. Oh, is he there? I don't think he is. Oh, there he is. It takes so long to kill. And we didn't even get it a drop. But this is the guy you need to kill to get the Dino Seros recipe. And then you're on your way. So let's go back to the Griffin Knight camp. It'll be a quick and easy teleport. I hope there we go. Now once you've got the recipe, you're going to need Mono Seros horns. Or stained boar tusks. Right, but the Mono Seros horns we'll go through in a minute. It's the stained boar tusks. That are the harder to collect. Obviously you need six of each. So you'd think they'd be just like. The same grind worthy amount. But they're not. The stained boar tusks can be a little bit harder. The desert boars are where they drop. So up here on the ruined temple. Is where the desert boars can be found. I'm going to try and kill a few. Just so I can get a drop. Just so I can show you pretty much. And just to show you a nice flight path of where you can go. So there's one, so you can see where I'm going, Desert Temple, there's another boar over here. If you continue just going round in like a circle, another boar here, there's one more there, and then you can go back to the original boar over there with one more in the middle. So it's like a figure of a circle pretty much, like there's tons of boars around, this is where the boar was originally, and this is how you get the stained boar tusks. And I'm telling you, it takes a while. One drops every about five to six kills, I guess. Depending on how much drop rate you've got. And it can be a bit annoying to kill, but I'm going to stay here and hopefully get one of the drops. Oh, no. Worm pouch. Worm pouch. There we go. Fine pouch. So you can see why the desert boars can be a bit long. To grind away they're only on their own you can't really group them up and you're having to travel between one and another but when you go and actually see the mono seroses which I'm going to oh, I can't actually go there now you'll see that they're a lot closer together so you can kill multiple at a time that's why it makes them just a little bit easier to actually go ahead and kill to get the mono seros horns over the st uh, stained boar tusk horns so we're going to go to the Mono Seros now, just so I can show you where they are. And then that's it, guys. You've got the Mono Seros horns. You've got the stained board tusks. The elite taming potions come from the Barter Crafter. And then, obviously, complex familiar orbs you have to make. But the Mono Seros horns are up near the Altar of Fire. So here we are, Mono Seros. And what I like with these is that they're just ten times easier to farm up. Look, you can fire all four, because they seem to be in packs of fours like look at this brilliant packs of four and then just blast them down with your little whirlwindy thingy and i've had it where i've been in a group of six and i've gotten three drops so i've gotten fine pouch fine pouch fine pouch and look at that 
one group and we've already got a drop. Sometimes it does troll you and give you a familiar orb instead. But there we go, a mono Ceros horn. And then, as you could see, the Dino Ceros is here with the mono Ceroses. I don't know if they like if it's like the Ash Tail Phoenix things from the Sea of Hecanus ages ago, where you have to kill the mono Ceroses to get the Dino Ceroses. Hopefully it's not. But let's go ahead and tame one up. Just so we can have a look at its stats. Have a look at the, the mount up and close and personal. I don't think it looks that cool actually to be honest with you. Looks kind of kind of dead from the side. Alright, let's go. Hoit. It's like a zebra. I tamed loads, but I've never really looked at it. I've just been on the Trino Ceros grind. Like I really want Trino. His, his seal's really good. It gives physical crit rate and all stats like any other one. So there's a lot to it. Is Trino even here? Aha, Trino is there as well. But we're going to leave him for a separate video. Guys, this is the Dino Ceros. If I whip up my, uh, what is it, I don't know, familiar info. His skills are physical crit rate and health. And then move speed and familiar EXP. Oh, that's it. Oh. A chance to gain move speed and familiar experience while you're in cloying waste. That's interesting. I like that. Oh, fair enough. But yeah, physical crit rate, health is not too bad. Not too bad of a pet if you can't get a heroic one. But guys, that is how you get the Dino C Ross. He looks very weird. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that like down below. Social links all down below as well. Thank you for over 1,500 subscribers. Honestly could uh, it means the world to me and yeah thanks and i'll see you on the next video